Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. A couple of days ago, I did a video about a Star Wars collection that turned up at a neighbor's in a bin liner, vintage stuff that was gonna go to auction. Well, that auction took place on October the 29th, yesterday. And I decided to tune in and see how it did. The hopes were that it would raise somewhere in the region of £250,000, which just seems absolutely astronomical. So could it get anywhere close to that hoped-for figure? Well, here are some highlights from the auction itself. So the uh, auction's underway. Uh, it's approximately half past 10 in the morning uh they're only currently up to lot 56 uh it's taken its little time but you can see on this right hand side as we scroll through uh what is to come uh and what will be uh lots of different stuff you can see how these corgis have sold for uh, this is absolutely fascinating for me because this is the first time I've seen anything like this before. Uh, so it's um, it's a it's a potential rabbit hole I can fall down. <laughs> but uh, let's see how things come along, and uh, we'll check back in uh, in a few hours' time. So a fair amount of time has passed. It's now coming up ten past four in the afternoon yes it's been a long day's auctioneering and i've had this open for that whole time getting on with some other stuff but always here in the background there's been some wonderful items that have gone past from all kinds of different genres of uh, fandom uh, a lot of corgi stuff uh, comics uh, we've had some of them not saying i might have bid might have won might have lost i'm not sure to be perfectly honest with you uh loads of different things which have been really interesting but as you can see we're now coming up to the star wars vintage lots they're just about to begin we're gonna start to see how much money they're gonna make i'm gonna check back in a little bit and we'll see how things are going as they ramp up to the major stuff so we're uh, about half an hour in to the star wars auction even the figures have been selling very well groups of figures three four five six hundred pounds for the groups individual figures sold for 200 uh, odd pounds or more then we've gone on to uh, some of the uh, bigger models uh, with the jawa um vehicle coming along selling for 1200 pounds the cantina uh from the first star wars film which actually comes with five figures i believe as part of the um cantina itself 2700 another radio control drawer uh, jawa crawler they kept there were three of them in this auction the second one has gone for even more at 1500 and we're just about to drop the hammer uh, on the Jawa Action playset, uh, which has just gone for... Well, there's more bids, which has just come in. It's hit uh, over a £1,000 with that one. So, so far, things are pretty uh, frantic, and it's been going absolutely amazingly. Uh, and we've still got some doozies left to come. So let's give it some more and see what happens in a moment. So we've got to one of the, the rare ones with the uh, commander up here. And as you can see, the bidding is going already 13 and a half, 14, 15, 15 and a half, 16, 16 and a half, 17, 17 and a half, 18, 19. Can to go up to 20,000 possibly? There we go. 21,000 already hit some rare stuff here with that commander 22,000 on this one 23 <laughs> this is absolutely phenomenal to see that this is the biggest one so far now up to 24 25,000 uh the biggest lot uh, up until then was around 4,000 
uh, which was for a mail order bounty hunter. Um, I can't remember which one, but a mail order one. But twenty five thousand pounds. Is it gonna fall? The hammer. Bang. Twenty five grand for that. Not bad. Haven't got to the Jawas yet. Woo. And the next one's not been too shabby either, as that drops for eight thousand two hundred pounds as well. We're getting into the juicy stuff now. Here it is, lot seven thirty eight. The Palitoy Star Wars Jawa with rare vinyl cape on the 12 back card. One of the rarest carded Star Wars figures in existence on this card variation. Less than 10 known in the world. Our most exciting toy find in 15 years trading as toy auctioneers. Card is slightly curved, but I'm sure you could do something with that. And the last lot I'm selling on the rostrum under my own business, Aston's Auctioneers. End of an era, £16,000 were already bid on this, 16500 17000 now, what's it worth, 17500 One made 21600 in 2017 and another one sold two months ago approximately for £26,000. We're at £19,000 now, £19,500, £20,000, so that's equal to the previous sale, including the buyer's premium now. £20,000 hammer price. Is anyone going to go any higher to secure this for their collection? Not many of these around to choose from. £20,000 bid, £21,000 if you want it now. Fair warning then, hammer's going to fall at £20,000. Remember there's a delay on the audio, so bid quickly. £21,000 now, £22,000 now. Remember, there's a delay on the audio of possibly up to five or six seconds. So if you want to bid, please bid now while I'm talking. Don't wait till I'm saying I'm about to put the hammer down. £22,000 bid on the Palatoy Vinyl Cape Jawa. £22,000 going once. £22,000 going twice. £22,000 sold. Thanks very much for your bids. <laughs> That's the end of the auction. Look at that though, what a way to finish. 22, uh, if I just mute him, 22,000 uh, pounds for that. Look at this one here. Uh, just a droid, nearly 2,000 pounds for just the droid from Empire Strikes Back. Lots of three somethings, two somethings, uh, 1,000 pounds for this singular one, 1,300 pounds for that singular one. Uh, 2,000 pounds nearly for a, a couple there. 1,700, 4,100, 1,200, 1,300 for these. Just look at the 4,600, 3,500 uh, on those. 1,300. You know, and I'm bypassing anything pretty much less than a grand. 3,100, 1,200, 1,000. Uh, we went through some Buck Rogers stuff as well. I think that was all part of the the guy's same lot. So he had this beautiful uh, love of, of sci-fi. So you got to just, you know, you got to love them for that. Uh, 1,300, 1,300, 10,000. Yes, 10,000 for four sealed vintage figures. 3,300 there, 8,800. For those two uh, Jawa figures, uh, those weren't the, uh, you know, the ultra rare one, which that one was, but still getting an 8,800, 8,100. I could go on. There's that one that we saw earlier that went for 25,000 for that lot. Uh, so I'm going to do some uh, adding. Hi. So this is As from the Future. Now it's Friday, the 30th of October. I've just got off the phone to Chris Aston at the auctioneers to ask him exactly how much the auction did. And the Star Wars stuff alone brought in just over the $250,000 that they expected it to bring. Absolutely incredible and that isn't all of it chris also told me that earlier in the year they had taken some other stuff from the house which was given to them and that raised 
fifty thousand pounds so all in all they have had over three hundred thousand pounds raised from this auction which is just absolutely outstanding uh but this was just wonderful to see from like 10 o'clock in the morning to now 10 past six uh uk time in the evening this has been one hell of a day uh at the auctioneers and it's wonderful to see these star wars figures uh picked up by collectors for for such uh, an amazing amount and they'll go into collections to come and hopefully pass down to other collections to come all from a guy leaving bin liners for his neighbor when he passed away crazy crazy hope you enjoyed the vid if you did do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel follow me on social media and youtube for live streaming links they're in the description box down below and i'll be back with some more stuff very soon you take care Bye for now.